Hi, Purple Eels fans. I'm John Reister, PurpleEels.com, keeping you up to date on all things Purple Eagle Athletics on the ridge this summer. At Dwight Arena, construction crews began work in the beginning of May and laid a new piping system underneath the ice. Concrete has been laid and will now sit for roughly 40 days to dry and cure before they can add ice on top of it. The team opens up their season at the University of Nebraska Omaha on October 13th and 14th before returning home to open up conference play against Mercyhurst October 21st. On the pitch, both the men's and women's team has arrived on campus and begun practices. The women's team kicks off their season on August 17th at the University of Minnesota. Then they will travel to St. Paul to play the University of St. Thomas on August 19th. The women's team will then return home to play St. Francis University from Pennsylvania for their home opener on August 24th. The men's team starts their season on the road for four games where they will face Akron, Robert Morris, University of Albany, and Stonehill before returning home to face Duquesne. The team enters the 2023 campaign with 15 newcomers to the program. This class includes eight transfer students and seven true freshmen. On the court, the volleyball team opens up their season on August 26th with the Delaware Tournament. I will see action twice on August 26th with an 11 a.m. match versus Loyola, Maryland, then again at 7 p.m. versus the host, Delaware. The tournament concludes for Niagara on the 27th with a matchup versus Robert Morris. I'm John Reister. For more information on Purple Eagle Athletics, visit purpleeagles.com.